this Cash Manager Rural tutorial will show you how to set up other party payment information in Cash Manager, enter a direct credit transaction, and export transactions out of Cash Manager. If you manually enter your bills into the transaction screen, you can also export these payments from Cash Manager using our direct credit option into your bank website. This method can greatly reduce you having to manually enter transactions into your bank website. Before you can use the direct credit option, make sure your bank account number has been entered into the database. To do so, go to Setup and scroll down to Bank Accounts. Highlight the applicable bank account, click Edit and enter the bank account number and related details. Your supplier's bank account number will also need to be entered. To do so, go to Setup and scroll down to Other Party. If the payee is not in the list, you will need to add them as a new Other Party by clicking on the New button and filling in the information fields. To edit an existing Other Party, highlight the applicable payee and select Edit. Click on the Cash Book tab and select the Pay By field as Direct Credit and enter the bank account number. Enter the particulars that the supplier has specified should appear on their statement to identify your payment. If they haven't specified this, you can enter your farm name. Enter the payee code as specified by the supplier. If there isn't a payee code, you can leave it blank. Click OK to save the changes and repeat these steps for the next other party. Now create the transaction in your transaction screen as normal. The transaction date should be the date the payment will be made from your bank account, as this will make it easier for you to reconcile your bank statement later. In order for the direct credit file to export each transaction correctly, the other party code needs to be selected. The status field will show pay. This means that you do want to pay this account by direct credit. If you don't want to pay this item, change the status to No. Enter the payee reference as you want it to appear on the supplier's bank statement so they can tell what the payment relates to and continue entering the rest of the transaction details. You will now notice the other party name is highlighted yellow. This indicates that the transaction is ready to be exported. Once you have entered the payments for the month, click on Export at the top of the screen and select Direct Credits. Choose your bank from the list and if you have more than one bank account number in Cash Manager, select the account that you are paying the direct credits from. Most banks lock the due date as today's date, however some banks will let you specify a future date to make the payments, select this from the drop down box. You can rename the file and save it in a location to suit. I have created a folder on the C drive called Cash Manager Direct Credits. This makes it easy for me to know where I'm saving the file to and when I'm in the bank website where to retrieve the file from. By clicking on the Select tab you can see all the payments to be included in the export. You can deselect items by unticking them in the Pay column if you wish to pay them at a later date. Notice the Cash Book balance is automatically adjusted to reflect the changes you have made. When you are ready, click OK to bring up the Direct Credit Report. We recommend you print the Direct Credit Report as there is no way of viewing it again once you close it. You will now notice the other party name is highlighted in blue. This indicates that the transaction details have been exported. This transaction is still highlighted because we have delayed paying it until a later date. You can now import the transactions into your bank website and we recommend that you phone your bank helpline if you require any assistance. This is the end of our tutorial. For more information on this facility, visit our website www.crssoftware.co.nz, contact our support help desk on the number provided, or email our team on the email provided.